Today, about 40 percent of America's carbon pollution comes from our power plants. But here's the thing. Right now, there are no federal limits to the amount of carbon pollution that those plants can pump into our air. None. Fast forward a year, and the Environmental Protection Agency's limits on smokestack emissions could be a climate game changer. We have a moral obligation to act on climate. It will be the most complex, complicated rule that our Environmental Protection Agency has ever issued. And it's going to be probably the most costly. And we think it's probably three times as costly as the most expensive rule to date. The U.S. Chamber of Commerce says the new anti-pollution rule will damage the economy and cost jobs. They crunch the numbers and warn that between now and 2030, the limits could suck billions of dollars out of the U.S. economy each year, cause thousands of job losses annually, spike electricity costs, and undercut the disposable income of American families. So it's a broad hit. It goes to the consumer, industry, the economy as a whole, jobs. There isn't an element of our economy that it doesn't touch. The White House was quick to hit back against the chamber's report. Well, we have a moral obligation to leave our children a planet that's not polluted or damaged. And a top Obama advisor tweeted that the chamber is wrong again on pollution. In the president's corner, green groups. They say the new anti-pollution rule will create jobs and cut electricity bills, all while fighting climate change. Power plants have significantly cut emissions in recent years as companies have become more fuel efficient and the natural gas industry has grown. But coal is still the number one source of fuel for power plants, and its backers accuse the president of waging a war on coal. Meanwhile, the chamber calculates the new regulations might only drop GHGs globally 1.8 percent, and they say that's just a drop in the bucket. States will have a year to submit their plans to comply with the new regulations. Jessica Murphy, Sun News, Washington.